Hi everybody, who likes gross stuff? Me! I'm Megan McDonald and I'm the author of the Judy Moody books and also the books about Judy Moody's little brother, Stink. And today I'm going to be telling you about the science of Stink. That means smelly stuff, not the character of Stink. Well, him too. Okay, but first I want to see if you can guess. What do you think is considered the smelliest smell, the absolute worst, stinkiest smell in the whole wide world? I'll give you a clue. It smells like roadkill. It's the color of rotting meat, and it has the same chemicals in it as a dead body. No lie. I'm not going to tell you the answer. You have to wait till the end. Okay, so I found out from reading in the paper that every year in the state of Vermont, they hold a rotten sneaker contest and you have a contest to see who has the smelliest sneakers. So I decided to write a book about how Stink would try to win a contest for the smelliest pair of sneakers. It's called Stink and the world's worst super stinky sneakers. In the book, if Stink wins, he will get the golden clothespin award. Luckily, he will also win a free pair of new non-smelly sneakers. So he's really hoping he'll win. And every day he sniffs his sneakers to see if they're smelly enough. And he begins to realize he has a really good nose, a really good sense of smell. His friends start to call him the nose. And Stink begins to think, hey, maybe when I grow up, I can be a professional smeller. Now, I know that sounds like a job that I made up, right? But that is an actual job. There's a man named George Aldrich who works, he's worked for NASA for almost 40 years now. And he is a professional smeller. He smells everything that's gonna go up into space. In order for it to be on the space station, it has to pass his nose. So Stink wants to be a professional smeller with his nose, but you know, not everything uses their nose to smell like animals. In the animal kingdom, a snake uses its tongue to smell things. Flies, did you know, smell with their feet. And if you can believe it, an octopus smells with its eyes. Okay, now it's time for me to reveal what did you guess was the smelliest thing in the whole wide world? Did you think it was a skunk? Did you think it was stinky sneakers? Did you think it was a dirty diaper? Well, if you guessed any of those, you're wrong because the smelliest thing in the whole wide world, if you can believe it, is a flower. Can you believe it? It's called the corpse flower. And you can read all about the corpse flower in the book Stink and the World's Worst Super Stinky Sneakers. So I hope you'll keep reading. Bye, everybody. Bye for now.